Hey there, how are you? Luke Yanko here, and uh, well, I just got back from the thrift store and uh, was gonna show you my finds. I got another bag right here. Well, we'll start off with my backpack. So I go down to the Goodwill, and what happens is you take a, a shopping cart and you fill it up and they weigh it. So you might have a few things in there. Like this barely weighs anything. And uh, these two things combined barely weigh anything. These three things, maybe a pound. So there's a dollar. So what we have is uh, uh, Godzilla, uh, Ray-Ban um, glasses case, and a pretty cool holiday uh, ornament and who knows this might be worth about fifteen dollars this might be worth ten so you got ten twenty five and then something for your tree for what a dollar that's awesome and uh, if you do that over and over again you get to find stuff and get stuff and sell stuff that you want like this piece right here. Now this is for a ninja. It has a sharp blade. This may weigh two pounds, so you pay two dollars for it. But it's a thirty-five dollar um, blender top. So, but the thing is, and this is what I tell everybody: you gotta know the prices. You gotta do your research, and you gotta know value. You have to know what you're buying because you don't want to just buy a pile of junk and think you're going to get money out of it. Now I'm going to show you one thing that I bought today that's not in this bag, but I'll save that for the end. Alright, first thing I bought was, oh, a pair of uh, aviator glasses. Now, the reason why I bought these, now I see that they don't have a one eye piece or nose piece but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lenses out of these and for Halloween I got a uh, I don't see it oh here it is um, the Napoleon Dynamite wig now I have a pair of glasses but I wanted to get ones that look more like him so first things first I got these that just like his I'll take the lenses out and uh, Oh look, they pop right out. So we'll pop them lenses out. This there it is. Ditch them. And now I got me some Napoleon Dynamite glasses. You want me to put the wig on? Alright. Put the wig on. Eat the food, Tina. Eat your food. So You can find anything you really want. You just gotta be willing to make the effort to look and to find the things. Well, that was a good first thing. This, garbage to me. Don't need those. Don't need those. I'll save that. And then I got the shirt I ordered offline. Alright, back to the bag. Second thing I found. Oh, everybody loves these. I mean, this weighs nothing. Uh, we'll fill it with leaves, put it in the front yard. It'll be nice, uh, big, huge pumpkin. Cool. Oh, yeah, you'll love this one. This is... Um, where, where's the date? 1990. 1990 Simpsons uh, Homer. Why you little uh, mug? I mean, if this doesn't go for $9... It'll go for 10. You know what I'm saying? It's a valuable piece. People want this. They want these things. I bet you right now, if I look this up, it'll be a $17 mug. You can't get these in the store. You can, but not these vintage pieces. Here's a little something that I picked up that isn't in my bag that I wanted to show you. Now this bad boy is brand new. It's uh As you can see, a Pokemon children's sleeping bag, uh, Pikachu, and uh, 
the dates on it are like this is like literally brand brand new the, the zipper doesn't even have any wear on it at all and uh, the date we got on here is uh well the, there's date 1996 97 and 98 and nintendo of america so this is legit stuff right here so now i've seen i looked this up i don't just buy anything i did my research and i seen two for sale for around eighty dollars and one was 34. i didn't see one sold but i'm thinking if i lower that to around 25 dollars i guarantee you it'll go i wanted one of these see i'm always finding bugs especially um praying mantises so this was in there and it's called insect lore uh Porta bug. So I was thinking, well, what I could do is, if I see another insect and I really don't want to handle it, I could put it in here and maybe show people it and uh, take it to where it needs to go. I'll probably keep it in my car. Oh, this is gonna take a minute to get it back in. Bless the round that I have patience. All right, there we go. Nice piece. That's something I want. I buy stuff I want, and I buy stuff to sell. Oh, you'll love this one. A classic. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. This is a classic. It sure is fun when Charlie Brown and his Peanuts pals together uh, get together for the big Halloween celebration. In fact, it's downright spooktacular. On and on, nominated for an Emmy Award, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown has been digitally remastered for excellent sound. Now, this was originally in 1966, but hey, one night, you know, to get into the, you know, whatever. It's a good show. It'll go for five, six bucks. It's a VHS, but I'm not trying to sell it. I like to collect things. Nostalgic things, like He-Man himself. Now this He-Man is legit. Now he's not perfect, but you want to add him to your collection. I can't see the date on here. Aha, the year I was born. Mattel Inc, 1981. It's right there above his back. Now I'm gonna put him on top of Castle Grayskull I got over here. If you wanna see. I think we already got one up there. But I'll put another one up there. Uh, maybe I'll go down here at the door. The thing about this is you gotta love what you do. You really gotta love the thing you do. And I love collecting things. I always collected toys. I always, uh, just whatever there was to collect, I would collect it. And, uh, I've had so much stuff throughout the years and seen the prices of things and I just know. Next, uh, I don't know, it's a cable adapter, but it's for, for a Nintendo. So, you know, somebody's gonna want one of these because they have their old Nintendo and they want it. This is a $9 bill right here, it's not fourteen nine. So, there's a 10, 20, 30, $30. And my cart, my, my expenditure today was a, a $20 bill. I spent $20, my cart was full, so I got $20 bills. I got a horse stamp. I like art, so I got a stamp. I'm gonna make a, uh, you know, different uh, pieces. I got. Let's see, you'll remember this. Go ahead, patty mayonnaise. This is uh, I think it's Burger King. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see here. Oh, McDonald's. Okay, 19. No date. No date. But this hat. This is definitely from the 90s. Unless it's a repo, but I, I can guarantee you this is from the nice uh, Patty Mayonnaise. This is from Doug, uh, Nick Tunes. All right, I'll put her right there. Let's see what else I got. I don't know exactly what these are, but my buddies like Pokemon, so I get things that are Pokemon. It says po Pokemon 2000, so uh, I'm not 100% sure what they are. I think they it says Pokemon Clinger. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's his name. They must be something because they have like little things. I've got them for my friends. Oh, here we go. Tiger, electronic, 
handheld game. Now this isn't nothing like uh, Mario or anything Disney. Just dirt track go-karting. Looks fun. Uh, let me see. Get some batteries and try it out real quick. See if it works. Last week I was able to find uh, this Game Boy Advance. Oh, there it goes. And it had Pokemon game in it. It's probably a $50 bill right here with the game. Because of the game, not because of the broken Game Boy. Let's see if this guy works. See, it? when it's so cheap you can afford to uh, buy things maybe if they don't work or not. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Went off track. Alright, it works. Pretty neat. Let's see what else we got here. Got some letters from my artwork. Oh, whole thing of pepper uh, corns. I need that for my new pepper grinder. Now this is a pepper grinder, but it was half broke, so I'm just gonna, I just got it to get the jar of ground, uh, of corns. Hemp jewelry. Hemp jewelry, because I always wanted a hemp necklace, and I haven't had one for a long time. And uh, I eat a lot of uh, hemp protein, so I'm gonna have somebody make me a nice little hemp necklace. A little jewelry kit, you see these all the time at uh, Goodwill, or not Goodwill, uh, Walmart, or Mar or uh, Hobby Lobby, so. Got a lot, bunch of stuff in this one bag. Uh, oh, you can never pass up light bulbs when you see them. I mean, what, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's just say six, uh, two, four, six. That's a uh, four dollar, five dollars, man. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this was nice. This little, little, little mini Tupperware. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Maybe ketchup. You could put anything in it. Seasoning, whatever you want. I just thought it was cute. It barely weighs anything. If you want to know the weight one ounce so it just was nothing the third in my bag this was a nice piece so i was going to grab something and i saw right there was a woody pool uh string woody from the toy story and uh i know those are valuable because kids love those things and i went to grab it the guy said something and as i looked down this uh this woman just snatches it and then takes it. I'm like, Psh, man. But I had also seen this bag sitting there. So I grabbed this bag and just threw it in my bag. Didn't look at it. But it's, uh, I seen the wire and the things. So I didn't know what it was, something electronic. But what it is, it's a really, really nice Canon uh, 12 megapixel camera. And uh, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't tested it or nothing. I haven't even tried to turn it on. So, but it looks like it has a really nice screen. And uh, so that battery charger came with it. So I'll, tr I'll I'll take the battery out later, charge it up, see what it see what it can do. It didn't have a, a memory card in it, so hopefully it has some memory in it. But we'll see. I don't see a date on it, but it says Canon PowerShot Elf 520. Did not look it up at all. So. I don't know what it was. It says, uh, nothing. We'll figure it out. Who knows? This might be a $200 camera. I don't know. Alright, what else we got in here? A few more things. Just a couple of. Oh, here's a vintage elf. Now, this is a vintage Christmas elf. A lot of people do Elf on the Shelf. Well, I might do some Instagram footage of this vintage one. This is probably from the 40s, 50s. I mean, this thing is, you can see it's about ready to, to disintegrate. It's so old. It's made of felt, and it just looks like it's going to fall apart. Cool little Elf, though. <laughs> All right, I'll put him right there in the cup. Here. Unopened David Ramsey's Financial Peace University's audio CD 13 life changing 
lessons. I scanned the barcode on this. They're going for fourteen dollars, so I might listen to it. I might not. I collect VHSs now. Hook. You remember Hook? It's not so much that I watch movies. I'm just like trying to collect different things, different movies. Just go to a little library. It's nothing. Well, a quarter for this. Just stack it in there. Have it. You never know what's gonna happen. Perfectly fine VHS. Oh, here we go, Maui Jim uh, eyeglass or a sunglass case. Now, I've sold these many times. I've bought maybe, I've bought over, I, I sell them for $10 a piece, and I've sold 30, 40 of them. So, 400 bucks, $10 bill right there. Anybody, they want, people want these. They need them. They lose them, and they got to keep their Maui Jims because Maui Jims themselves are $300, $400. All right. Two couple last pieces here. Uh, I saw these. I might put them on top of my jars. It's a hillbilly redneck uh, si sippy cup lid. I guess you put that on your uh, mason jar, and then you can stick a straw into it, and you can have a uh, like a cup, like people do with the cups. I probably won't do it, but I just bought it just in case I've ever wanted to. And then I got some real nice uh, acrylic paint. Uh, Laguna, and I just like that teal color. I'm gonna use it. All right, intermission. I'm gonna show you the piece that I got. Now this piece is a beautiful. Look at this shell. It's a huge clam shell. You can see all the 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 ribbing and the inner. It's just a beautiful piece. I wish I had the other side, but this is legitimate. And. Uh, why don't you go ahead and look it up and see how much one of these go for. This is my prized possession right now. Beautiful piece. Go try to find one in the ocean for me too. Alright. Next bag. Now I don't always... Uh, I sometimes have four or five bags. That's the thing. I really enjoy finding stuff. I'm a treasure hunter. Like I get, I really like. I don't like sports too much. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because it is tied tight. That's the one thing. I really enjoy finding things. Oh, right off the rip, woman said to me, "Hey, you need a gremlin." I'm like, "Oh, yes, I do need a gremlin." She's like, "These go for big money now." Whether they do or not, I don't care. I love Gizmo. This isn't one of them squeaking ones. It's an applause. It's probably from, uh, it's 1984. It's from 1984. So, the thing about it is, like I said, you gotta love it. You gotta love what you're looking for. You gotta love the, the fine, the feeling, the, 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 the enjoyment you get. And then you find things and you can make it fun. So, I needed a gremlin, she said, and I got a gremlin. Oh. Oh, I used to get these all the time when I was a kid. I'd go up to Clearview Store in Toronto, Ohio. 25 cents, and I'd get one of these planes. Now, I might do a video of me opening this up and flying it, showing how it's done, but uh, I love these things. I mean, they're next to nothing. That's probably less than an hour. This mason jar really stood out to me. It's a real older one. You can see all the... The bubbles and in, in, indentations. I'm gonna put this in the dishwasher. Atlas strong shoulder mason. But the thing I liked about it was it had the the regular lid top, not the extra wide one. So, I mean, I could put like a huge smoothie in this or or nothing. Fill it with pickles. I don't know, but I really enjoyed this piece. Go, go, Power Rangers. This is some kind of Power Rangers gun. I, I remember my cousin had Power Rangers. I didn't really have them, but I sold a Power Ranger helmet for about 30 bucks, maybe maybe 25. Uh, but this is legit Power Rangers. Um, date, date on it. Bandai 91. Bandai uh, 91. China. So, you, you want to look for dates. You want to 
kind of see what you what you're actually looking at. I bet that makes noise. It just probably needs new batteries. What's this? Uh, I got this from my buddy at work, so he could do whiteboard on it. I get things from my friends. I found this sweet shirt that I need to wash. Now this is my colors, gray and blue. Rainy day, my favorite colors. Look at that. My size medium. It's not brand new, but whoever, I don't buy brand new. My mom found this one for me. Zanzibar, made in Italy. Uh, they're going for about 10 bucks. Nothing, nothing super special, but it is a nice piece. I have a few other ones over there, but uh, we'll throw this online and see what, if somebody wants it. If they don't, put it up on a shelf as a as something. One day you have a yard sale or collect a ton of stuff for your kids to, uh, for an inheritance. I don't know. The other day I was at the thrift store and I saw this McBoo. Oh, I grabbed it up immediately. One no doubt, 99 cents. See that McBoo? What's the date on that? Oh, there ain't a date. Yeah, there's 1986. See, that's McDonald's piece. I've seen these go for $35, $45. That's a uh, lunch pail from McDonald's that during Halloween time that you got a uh, Happy Meal in. One of my favorite shows as a kid, the Snorks. They were these these underwater creatures that lived under the sea, and it was just a good. It was a funny. It was cool. It was an awesome show. It's like just different. I loved it. So this is uh the female snork. I actually had the blue one, 1983. This was made. Still in pretty good condition. I mean, there's some there's some staining and and some age to it, uh, some cracking, but I don't know. I don't think these go for huge amounts of money because there's not that big of a falling like Batman or uh, Disney things. But there, there's, there's money to be had. Otherwise, like I said, it can hang out. I'm not worried about it. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you find other stuff like down there. Ace uh, Epoxy. You never know you might need this to glue something like really heavy duty together. Get things you need. Last but not least in here, McLean Hubcap. Now, I looked this up. I Once I saw it, I knew like this was a car that I never actually see on the streets and stuff. This is, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, around uh, like $80 hubcap. Uh, somebody needs this to restore their vehicle, and I'm going to provide that for them. Well, that's the end of that, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Um, like I said, if this isn't your thing, don't go out and try to do it. Let the people that like to do it. Go try art. Go try uh, playing music. Go read a book. Go hiking. Do the things you love to do. Like you could be a travel blogger because you love hiking, or you could be a teacher of music if you're good at guitar and stuff. Just do the things that you like to do and find out how you can make money doing that. I make money selling things that I like. I get a lot of it and I keep a lot of it. If I had a bunch of instruments in here right now and I wasn't a, a musical guy, which I ain't, then I'd just have a room full of instruments that I don't know how to play, that I don't want to play, and I'd be like, this is lame. However, I got a lot of things that I do like. And I like looking at these things and having them. And uh, regardless if they sell or not, I have a little collection that I like. It's something that I like to do. So, God bless you and uh, have a great day.